Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be in episode number 13 of my lipstick roulette series and if you haven't seen any of the other episodes I will have my playlist listed up here in the cards as well as in the description box and when you are in my description box please make sure you check out uh, LS which was the one who started this lipstick roulette series and then I will also have some other ladies linked in the description box that I also know are doing this lipstick roulette series so let's get into the lipsticks that I've been wearing for the past two weeks so you know what I always like to start with the lip glosses or like the lighter formula lipsticks and then I go into like the lip liquid lipsticks at the end but first off let's talk about the H&M lip gloss in the shade Bile Do. Do I'm not sure <laughs> how to pronounce that but this is like a very pretty pink lip gloss with a shimmer in it and like a glitter sparkles things in it. I was pretty sure I did not like this formula of lip gloss and then I had another one in this project previously which was called fairy floss and while wearing that one in that project I sort of started liking that a bit more and then I decided to keep that one but this is more of what I remember them being like a bit sticky and a bit heavy so this is going in the maybe pile because I do think that this is really pretty uh, but I don't know if it's something I would reach for just because it's a bit I don't know it's just not very comfortable on the lips so this is a maybe for me then we have two boa lipsticks from Maybelline first we have the one in the shade called daring the nude so this is just a nude lipstick I do feel like the color is pretty on me like it's a mint tone nude it's not too light it's not too dark it's really pretty but I do feel like this formula might be too sort of powdery for me I don't know if this has gone bad or because this is a bit old but I feel like I reach for this pretty often uh, I have used quite a bit of this but every time I reach for it I'm not that happy with how it feels and how it looks I feel like it sort of clings on to or it not clings it's sort of like don't want to go over dry areas on my lips so that it looks like it sort of bunches up but it bunches up outside of the dry areas if you know what I mean or if, if you have ever experienced that so this is also going in the maybe pile but I don't think I want to keep this I'm not sure then we have the one in the shade Ravishing Rose which is in the same formula as the other one but this one is a really nice pink and I did I have not reached for this at all basically before this project I have worn it of course a few times but it's not something that I sort of reach for but in this project for the past two weeks I've actually been wearing it a few times so I feel like it's a really pretty color but it has the same formula as the other one it's sort of yeah it's not my favorite formula and I sometimes I feel like they don't go on sort of evenly on my lips or they don't whenever I sort of smack my lips together or rub my lips together they sort of uh, disappear from some areas on my lips so this is also going to into the maybe pile but I do think that this has a better chance of staying in my collection than this does so yeah we'll see and let's go with the Kat Von D Lolita lipstick and this is one of her liquid lipsticks formula and these are a bit drying this was if you remember me saying from my last update when I pulled this one I said that I was pretty sure I was going to hate this and sort of declutter this immediately when I wore I worn it uh, twice I think or once and then swatching it today uh, during the past two weeks and it's not as bad as I remember it being so it's not because I remember it being very patchy and this time around I did not have any problems with patchiness but there is so much against me keeping this lipstick just with the Kat Von D like controversy I do feel like <laughs> like vaccinate your kids <laughs> um, and because of that controversy I feel like I don't want to use it and even though I would like it it's just not something I would want to reach for so I think this is going into the maybe pile because I want to sort of see what I feel in a few months when maybe it has died down a bit I'm not sure uh, but then I yeah 
maybe for this one as well. Then we have one of the Kiss Me lipsticks and this is in the shade Soulmate. And this is a sort of pinkish, sort of light pink lipstick with a bit of a lilac tone in it. And when I first apply it, I really like the color, but unfortunately it dries down a bit darker than I would sort of have liked it to be. So first time I wore it, I really liked it. And then I wore it the second time and I just felt like it was a tiny bit too dark. So this is going into the maybe pile as well, because I'm not really sure I like this color. Uh, but I do want to think about it and sort of wear it more times. I did compare it to Little Stitches from Colourpop because I've had that in this project before. And when I compare those, this is a lot more pink than that one. And I think I prefer that one. So that might sort of, um, yeah, push this out of my collection. But we'll see. I will put this in the maybe pile for now. Then we have another Kiss Me lipstick which is in the shade Pillow Talk and I do really like this color and I mean I find the formula of these uh, Kiss Me lipsticks to be just fine and they don't contain that much product so usually I'm not like super... It, it's fine if I, I sort of keep them in my collection but I'm not sure about this one. I feel like of all of them that I've mentioned in this update, all of them have, have actually gone into the maybe pile. And this one will as well, but this one is the closest to keep of all of them I have here, I think, because it's a really nice color. I just, I've been, I don't know, I just haven't been feeling any of them these past two weeks. So yeah, this is going into the maybe pile as well. And then the last one, which is the one that I'm wearing currently. And okay, so I said I haven't really been feeling them, but I have been feeling this one, which is a surprise for me. I'm wearing this today. I was wearing it in another video, just a couple of, yeah, my last video basically. And I love the way this looks. I love the color of this. I am not sort of brave enough to wear this sort of for every day because it's a really bold color. So I haven't worn it outside for the past two weeks. But I'm wearing it today, I was wearing it when I was filming and I really loved it and I can totally see myself wearing this to like some summer parties maybe or something. This has really really bumped up high on my radar of lipsticks I want to really wear because it's such a stunning color. This is like a very very bold bright pink with some sort of some very subtle blue sort of shift to it so it, yeah it's super pretty and I will be keeping this one and that is surprising because this is the only one I will keep from this round or as of now <laughs> all of them are in the maybe pile and then this one is in the key pile okay so those were all of the lipsticks that I've been wearing for the past two weeks now let's pull some new lipsticks so here is my box full of lipsticks I do feel like it's getting more empty so you can see if I do like this you can See the floor of the box but yeah I'm feeling good about this so let's pull seven new lipsticks Oops, that one. okay so we have a variety here we have one lip gloss so let's start with this one this is the Fairy Lips Gloss. This is a Swedish brand, so it's called Fairy, which is color in Swedish. And this is just like a clear lip gloss, so I don't think I will even swatch that one because it's just a clear lip gloss. And this is good for like using on other people because it has this type of applicator, so I can just squirt it out on my hand and then I will use sort of like a Q-tip to apply to other people. But um, yeah, I will try this out, see if I like this one and if I want to keep it. Okay, and then we have two uh, bullet type lipsticks. The first one here is uh, from L'Oreal and this is Julian's Nude. And this is just a pinky nude. It has sort of like a sheer formula. I have used quite a bit of this because I was trying to pan this for a while which took a very long time, I sort of gave up, but it is kind of pretty and it is very pink on my lips, 
but I will be wearing it see what I think about it. Then we have the one of these like Maybelline matte lipsticks and this is in the shade Touch of Spice which is probably my favorite of these. It, this was very hyped up a few years ago so I'm excited to wear this one. Then we have a XO Beauty lipstick. These are the Luxe Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Carpe Diem and this is a very like mauve sort of cool toned lipstick. I will zoom in so you can see better. But I'm excited to be wearing this one as well. And then we have a free liquid lipstick. So let's start with this one. This is the Ofra liquid lipstick in the shade Dubai. This is the only liquid lipstick I own from Ofra. And this is a very like neutral toned nude or like a brownie neutral tone nude and then we have this one which is new in my collection this is the Stila Stay All Day liquid lipstick in the shade Caramello which is also a nude I got this in the Sephora nudes kit nude, I can't remember what it's called but it had a bunch of nude lipsticks so I got this one and then the last one is the Colpop ultra setting lip in the shade more better which is a really really pretty like berry shade and I'm really excited for this one because it's like a perfect fall shade so here is what they look like so here are the lipsticks that I will be wearing for the next two weeks as I said here is the L'Oreal Julian's Nude and then the Maybelline Touch of Spice Ixo Beauty Carpe Diem um, Ofra Dubai and then Stila Carmelo and then Colourpop more better. So yeah, I'm excited about this sort of lineup. So yeah, as I said, I'm really excited about these. I think it will be fun wearing these for the next two weeks. I will probably wear this one on uh, like Christmas Eve probably because it's a really like holiday lipstick. So yeah. I'm excited about this. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this series here on my channel. As I said, don't forget to check out the other ladies that I have in my description box that are also doing this project. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing. <laughs> and yeah, I will see you in my next one. Bye!